Good, Good morning. morning. Good, Good morning, morning, professional, professional photographers, photographers of Idaho and, and beyond. <laughs> I'm Bob Ryder. I'm Kim Minter. I'm Larry Fry. Say your name again for me, would you? Kim Minter. Minter, like winter. Yeah, yeah. like winter. There's no I, N after the T. No, there's not. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> well, I wonder who we have hanging out with us today, and I'm going to ask you a question right now about something that I want an answer to later on. So I want you to think about this. Today's conversation is going to be about the value proposition, okay? And this relates to how you're taking care of your clients and how you're showing them value. So without going into that yet, because we've got some great announcement stuff you've been waiting for, we're going to talk about here in just a minute. But what I want to hit them with is how do you show your clients value? That's a question for them. That's a question for them and for you guys. Yeah, right. It's a question for all of us. It is. So that's the question. How do you show your clients value? That's what we're going to come to when we bring our topic back here in just a minute. But we've got some great announcements. Let's bring that on board. Larry, you want to start with? Well, let me actually, Kim. Why don't you cover the first one there, counselors? Oh, yes, our PPA counselors for Idaho, Phil White and Dennis Hammond, we're really excited to have them representing us. Yeah, so they represent uh, PPA, well, they represent Idaho to the two PPA, and they serve to help PPA form policy and also to elect the PPA board members. Um, and they kind of sort of relate as liaisons to Idaho as well, from PPA to PPI. I have an echo from Gordon. You, you have, have an echo. echo. Gordon says we have an echo. Uh, uh, the echo is not mine. Okay. I, I don't think we're echoing at our end. Okay. But I, I don't. How bad is the echo, G? Oh, yeah. You know what? Is it mine? It might, okay. it might be that you're on there, too. Yeah. Ah. OK, so that's cool. Uh, Gordon, let me know if that solves the problem. We had a screen going here as well, so maybe that was causing a problem. Sorry. <laughs> well, I don't know that that solves it. But anyway, Gordon, let me know if that solves it. And um, if I need to, I can troubleshoot. The only only thing we changed this week is that we've added another microphone. Yeah. OK. Um, but I don't I don't think that's our problem. Anyway, uh, carry on. <laughs> Larry. Yeah. Hit us with fall retreat. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty excited. We've all been excited about this since we talked about it up at our retreat in Sun Valley. We decided, we decided to do the Tetons, which was awesome because it's the Tetons, right? Oh, so go, go figure. You, you can do, do all kinds of stuff, whatever you need to do in the Tetons. But uh, when we started to uh, get the room situation figured out, it got a little tight. So we do have a block of rooms uh, right now. There'll be more information coming out on the website and also an email blast, et cetera, et cetera. If you want a room, you need to jump on it. Uh, there is a time limit on these. They will. These rooms will sell out without us. So I know a lot of people think that September 24th, 25th, 26th is, you know, way late in September and stuff. But the hospitality industry in Jackson Hole right now is going nuts with rooms going like six, seven hundred dollars a night. So we were fortunate to get the, the uh, place we got. It's actually in Moran, which is about 28 miles or so from Jackson, uh, and I think it's like 21 or three or something from the Mormon Row. Uh, and of course, it's eight miles from Moran Junction, which is right uh, at uh, Oxbow Bend. So there's that. So it's not that far from where we're going. Very we doable. Have, uh, yeah, yeah, very doable. We've got some great rooms. Uh, we, if we have enough interest, there's a possibility we could take the entire place over. It's not that big. I think there's uh, 20 some odd units that they ran, maybe 23, something like that. So yeah, very excited about this. Uh, uh, it's in the Tetons. We're going to have astrophotography. We're going to have some uh, model and nature photography. We're going to try to do a little bit of light painting on models, which is, uh, any of you that don't know what light painting is, it's, it's painting with a different source of light, not a flash, but uh, a different source. It could be a light stick, a light wand. It could be sparklers. flashlight. Yeah, sparklers. Sparklers. Yeah. yeah. So the difficulty here is the model. They can't like freaking move. move. <laughs> so this, this is going to be, it'll be interesting and it'll be fun at the same time and we'll see what we can get. We, have, we hope we have on the docket to get a couple of uh, instructors, although this will not be uh, a PPA merit, class. PPA merit class. This is just going to be instruction and we're going to have a great time. So um, It's going to be amazing. Yeah, it will be amazing. I, I'm really okay. looking forward to it. How cool to fill up the whole hotel. Hold on, hold on just a minute. I'm going to talk to Laquita. So Gordon's getting a lot of echo real bad. Um, he's 
text messaging me as well. And I want to see if Laquita is getting that or if this is something that Gordon is experiencing exclusively. So Laquita, can you uh, let me know if you're getting echo at your end or anybody else that might be watching? I need to know if you're getting the echo too or if that's an end user issue. It's either our end or his end. So I just need to figure that out. And Laquita, we do know the cost. Um, for the trip in the room. So bear with us just a minute while we nuke out yep. uh, this other thing. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spill the beans on that for those of you who can hear us right now. I'm not gonna spill the beans on the cost of the room yet. Uh, but we do know the cost of attending. Uh, yeah. So, and that's uh, gonna be $250. Mm -hmm. To attend the, all the, all the, the event. All the stuff that we have going on, you can attend all of it for 250 bucks. But I'm not gonna get into the room right now. Uh, the room and meals will be on your own. Uh, okay. There is a restaurant. Hold on just a minute. I'm going to interrupt because okay. everybody's, everybody's getting the echo. Oh, boy. Um, so, so Jen's getting the echo. So I'm going to try just shutting off your mic, your mic. Huh? Larry, okay, and see if... Okay, so we've made a change. I shut Larry's mic off, and if I have to toggle mics for who's talking, I can do that. All right, so um, just let me know if that's uh, better, if that's corrected the problem with the echo. Um, we did something different today, and we, we added another microphone. So that... Is probably it. There's a little bit of delay between what we're saying and what they're seeing, so we're just going to hang tight for a minute because I want them to hear all of what we have yes. to say today. Right. And like I said, if I need to chase the mics, I can chase the mics. All right. So, ah, oh, yay, yay, fixed it. Okay. So it is the extra microphone. Well, and I, if I turn my, I turn my, I disable my Chrome in this also. Okay. So it could be that too. All right, well, I'm going to try and chase it. When you're Problem. talking, I'll turn you <laughs> All right, so, so I'm back, job. and I'm just going to chase this a little bit. So um, let's hit those salient points again for the dates. So okay. I want you to get your calendars out or get a piece of paper and a pen out. It's going to be September 24th, 4th, 4th. 25th, 5th, and 26th, and 26th, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And there's an option yeah. with the hotel or the lodge or <clears throat> the resort that we're if, at. If you want to stay on a, uh, I think hopefully you can hear me, I can see the volume up in uh, Bob's mic. If you want to stay on till Monday, there is an option to stay until Monday. Uh, the, the, big, the big thing is, and it's gonna come out Monday, promise you guys it'll be in your email, it'll be on the website and all this stuff. The big thing is, is you need to jump on your room like now. And, and we tied up 14 rooms, but She'd only gave us till July 8th to make a reservation. Now that doesn't mean that you can't drop out afterwards, but there will be a penalty. You'll you'll actually reserve a room for the September dates, and I think you have until August 20 something third, maybe. Who's going to drop out? At Nobody. Talk? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, if you need to drop that room, but uh, there'll be somebody else probably waiting to get in there. So these are standard rooms with two queen beds. So there is a possibility if you want to cram four people into a room. You can do that, okay? That's that's, that's probably, probably more of a girl thing. thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't. Uh, the, the I don't see me doing that. Unless we put <laughs> <laughs> My room can have four girls. <laughs> so we had, a, and we and I put out a model call yesterday. It was well received. Uh, I have no doubt that we will have four models that we're going to bring, and then one of our uh, board members is also working on bringing some more models into this. So uh, to go back, we are going to have some astrophotography. Uh, we'll have model in nature, and we will have uh, landscapes, and then of course we'll have just a good time. At the end of the day, they have a patio retreat area. We can just all sit around. Oh, and by the way, they are making. <laughs> she said, "Well, what time? If you were to like all hit the restaurant all at once, what time?" Because she wants to kind of give her staff idea. <laughs> and I said, "Val, well, this is uh, these are artists. Uh, I wouldn't expect them back until way after." dark you know when after the sun goes down like goes down goes down not like just barely goes right. over the hill yeah. so I said uh, you know eight o'clock 8 30 so they will have the restaurant staffed at that time so that we make sure we can get something to eat so more information about all of that it's yes. um, it, it's we're out there a ways uh, but we're close which it, is awesome yeah, I love being out yeah so th if all that makes sense we're, yeah. we're away from the crowds but we're close to the action. Yeah. So Excellent. That's, uh, it's a good thing. We're out so in the dark. We are so, out in the dark. Um, I'm going to come back. I'm to this, the is the, the time. this is the most, all, I, all it took to get a lot of comments uh -huh. was for our audio to be really hosed. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> um, but, but we're hearing now that, um, let's see, do, 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 do. Uh, well, Gordon says it's Larry's fault. 
course. Um, always. Jen yeah. says we can hear Larry just fine. And, and when you talk, I think I'm hearing you just fine or I'm seeing you. I'm seeing me on there. On the UV. Fine. So yeah. we're okay. I think we're going to just run with that mic off and, yeah. and let these mics pick it up because between the three of us. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. we'll give that a shot. My if, mic's on if your you, side. If you find there. you're having a hard time hearing Larry. No, if you see me talking into her chest, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Well, this is time for a commercial it's break. It's all okay. <laughs> we actually don't have commercials. I didn't have to say I could Oh, have my stars. And not say that. All right. So, uh, so <laughs> Took that's... Took right off your uh, thought process, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Um, oh, there's a good one. Our luncheons. Yeah, luncheons are coming back. Yeah. So, I, before we step away, Laquita says, Kim, if I can swing room costs, I want to go with you and share a room. You got it, baby. She already told me yeah. that. <laughs> She's you like, Laquita and I are going to share a room. We yep. might put like six other gals in there yeah. and call a slumber party. <laughs> Okay, You're she didn't Laquita. really say that. I'm just making that up. <laughs> Maybe that's just a... Never mind. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's this funny. is crazy having you here. <laughs> You're blushing. That's awesome! <laughs> All right, so um, we're going we're gonna to leave that nugget about fall retreat and move on to um, a couple of other really cool announcements. Um, but I just want to recap. Yep. We've got the dates uh, September, end of September, mm -hmm. twenty four, five, six, and the cost to attend is two fifty, and that does not include your food and lodging. Correct. So um, that's about all. It. All of that information, booking, and all that is going to be available to them Monday. Come the beginning of the week. Monday, and I can tell you, right, I mean, I just got the contract in my email just before I came over here, so I have to print it out, sign it, fact, and uh, get it back to Val and the Hatchet Resort. By the way, it's called the Hatchet Resort. Uh, it's That's in, awesome. And if you just, uh, yeah. you can Google that. You can Google the, their uh, roadside uh, address is on the Google, and you can go out at Google Maps and see exactly where it is if you want. And not only are the Tetons there, but mm. backside of the hatchet, as you're heading uh, east, there's some cool bluffs and stuff out that way. You also. said backside of the hatchet. Yeah. Well, that's because I... That's just the backside of the hatchet. All right. Very cool. So, um, so let's leave lots this. Lots to photograph. But because we're I, I quarter one, after the hour. I got one more thing. We're going to go through some dates here and, and some things. And I also will tell you that please watch our events calendar online, on Facebook, et cetera, et cetera, because all of this stuff will be in the events calendar coming up. Yeah. So we made some critical decisions. Yeah, we had a board meeting this week. Yeah. Yesterday? Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. So we're good. Yep. So. Awesome sauce. Yep. So the the next thing that I want to hit, and this is uh, Sam kind of brought this to the table the other day at our board meeting, and I'm just so excited that we are bringing our in-person luncheons yes. back, and we are going to camp them on the first Friday of every month at 1 p.m., and we're going to start off at the Idaho Pizza Company over on Fairview right here in Meridian. Right. And um, so that's next Friday, July 2nd, is our first in-person, regularly scheduled luncheon after the live. At Sweet. 1 o'clock. Yeah. So we'll just all march over there after, yeah, after our live next week, yeah. and we hope to see you guys there. So we've got a lot of great stuff. Uh, Jen says, if my husband doesn't go, I want a room with Kim, too. Awesome, Jen. Yes. And Gordon says, <laughs> if, if we bring a big blue tarp, can we camp in the city park? I'm thinking no. Yeah, and you're a long ways from us if you camp in the city park. I guess you could go ahead and give her a try, Gordon, but uh, I don't think that's probably... All right. Just, just don't put the people... So back to the announcements. One more cool thing to hit. You want to cover this one? Oh, yeah. Is this my mine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have our very own Carly Moon. She has an open house coming up July 16th from 5 to 8 and July 17th from 11 to 3. So if you can go, I'm going to go. And where is it? It's at oh, her studio, It's at right? her studio, which it's I think eight, is eight downtown, downtown Boise. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So she's got that coming up in July. Great. And then, and then one more thing that we don't want to miss is our Members Connect. Oh, yeah. uh, and that's the, what is it, second and... First and third. First and third. First and third. You know, I should have made little yeah. pop-ups for this. Well, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to do that I next got, week. I got next you time. covered. So, uh, on this week. <laughs> so, okay. anyway, uh, again, watch for all these dates yeah. on our events calendar, and it's going to get full. So, I'm excited about that. Lots going on. I can't Ooh, wait. me too. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Good stuff. Um, today's topic is the value proposition. And we're going to move on. Is that Gordon still texting me? Nope, that's something else. Um, that's because I'm... Also supposed to be somewhere else right now. Uh oh. But that's okay. It's a busy um, day for two out of the three of us. Huh? Kim Critchfield, I'm not today. repeating your comment, brother. I'm not. But I'm glad you're here. Um, good stuff. <laughs> All right, again, so today oh. is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
but that's funny. <laughs> I do have one more space. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I keep hitting this because we're going to talk about our topic today, mm -hmm. right? We're going to mm -hmm. get there. We'll get there when we get there, Kim. Anyway, uh, this last laugh thing, that was all you. So get to the topic. So here we go. The value proposition, and I asked at the beginning, and I don't know who was here when we started and the audio was kind of wonky. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something else. I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. Um, so my question to everybody that's watching today is how do you show value to your clients? And what I'm really hoping is that you will take a moment to put a sentence or two into the comments about how you show value to your clients. And I just want to say right off the bat, I'm going to stare into the camera and I'm going to deliver this, that value isn't about price. It's not about money. Mm -hmm. Value isn't what you're charging these people. So all those of you that have started typing in a sentence about money, <laughs> erase that. Deleted. Erase yeah. it. Because <laughs> that's not where my clients see value. Right. Yeah. Um, and frankly, because in my universe, our pricing is out there um, for everybody to see. They can just drop in and look at the pricing. If they're going to call me to book, I'm pretty sure they've already seen my pricing. Mm -hmm. um, this actually is a time saver for me. It pre-qualifies my client. If they connect with me after looking at my pricing, I know they're probably in my, in my wheelhouse, yep. right? Mm -hmm. um, anyway, yep. so that that conversation that we used to have of oh you're too much, yeah, I, I don't get those so much anymore. But so the, and and this is leading into something that we've already done a, a uh, live over, and that's you know how do you keep your customers coming back, or what do you do, go the extra mile for them? So that's a hint. Uh, yeah, for you. Well, and that's so that's a big part of it, and that's that's in here too. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, my favorite way of showing value to my clients is by being an excellent, maybe an extraordinary communicator. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. That's that's the number one thing that I can do is to keep my client informed, and so I've got infographics that I've made. It's literally cell phone sized, so I can text that to them. And almost everybody that comes in that has received that comments on it. Hmm. Usually the guys are like, nose hair, huh? I'm glad, oh, glad you told yeah. me that, right? <laughs> I'm like, trim your damn nose hair. Yeah. It's terrible. You're like, raw, <laughs> right, whatever. So it's, it's not to overwhelm them. Do you say neck beard too? It's not to, <laughs> that's a good one because I had that guy this week with, like, I don't think the chest hair stopped. It just. <laughs> Was, it was all a, fount yeah. a fountain of, of yeah. it was. I'm sure they appreciate knowing that stuff to make it look better because how would they know if you didn't tell them? Right, and you know it's yeah. not something that they do every it's day. It's not intuitive. No. Yeah, so I think this applies to every genre. Yes. Okay, um, for the real estate and architecture and commercial work, I'm prepping my client. You know, they need to clean ahead of time. They need to have some really simple, mm -hmm. basic supplies on hand to fix some basic things while we're working through a situation, while we're working through a shoot. Um, for family and portrait photographers, you're probably talking wardrobe, and you're talking about, like, hey, don't wax your eyebrows the night before. Yeah. I didn't know that until you told me that oh, before my Oh, it's so bad. Shot. I had Woo! no idea. Did you do that the night before? I, I did it. Okay. <laughs> so you did good. I did good. You know what? You, you get this shiny swath, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I didn't even think that. Um, that. Hmm. Like then you have to photograph shiny, not shiny fuzzy stuff in to make it look human, right? A shiny swath that's not tanned. Tanned. That's tanned. tanned. Oh, tanned. tanned. So you have, oh, yeah. a, so you have a little oh, sure. stripe, a racing yeah, stripe. Yeah, that's true. Um, not looking good. So communication's my biggie. Yeah. Do you have a biggie? Uh, my biggie is I like to go the extra mile with them. Something unexpected that because I do landscapes and I hang up in offices, and so they get a little extra from me at the end. Okay. That's my biggie. Little extra. Mm -hmm. So that's that's one of these things. Little mm -hmm. extras. Something they didn't expect. And yeah. it could be, you know, we send a card. Yeah. I send a thank you card. Oh. I send a thank you card for really simple things. Oh, yeah. I don't need like, well, if they spend more than $1,000, they get a yeah. card. It's yeah. not, I send thank you cards. I got another great referral from another local photographer yeah. who does exactly what I do this week. You know what else I do, which is really cool that nobody that's surprising. I make a board. I go in and I take pictures of their office and then I put out my images on those pictures and I make a physical board and take it to them and show them and they love it. They're like, that's this is so cool. Awesome. <laughs> so, so they get a good picture of it. So I see that 
working for what I do. Mm. Hey, look, I, I these are we we shot your C-suite team, and then I make a board, uh -huh. and it has their office wall, and I've put exactly. a collage together. Yep. Like, hey, these are your leaders, and by the way, these are 3M mm -hmm. uh, command strips. You can pop it off and mm -hmm. put a new one up if mm -hmm. some if something changes, or you add some people, right. or you change. That's a great idea. Yeah. Woo! Bam! Yeah. I love that. <laughs> you could spend a couple of hundred bucks and get the Bay Photo Exposer system and give that to them. Oh, but that's not as fun. <laughs> They like the old school board. Well, and I, you know what? There's a oh, that's a whole nother topic. Old school. Yeah. There's some old school stuff that is so touching to people because mm -hmm. everybody's just inundated with digital everything. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. No, the new thing now, right? Is uh, they send you a PDF. It's like 102 pages of how to do something for whatever organization you're stepping into. I can't read that on my phone or yeah. anything, even on my I have to yeah. print most of that just to yeah. pour through it so I can highlight and comment. What are some sure, of the, yeah, your favorite yeah. things, man? Oh, I do stuff that's kind of, I, I do stuff that I don't talk, I don't even communicate this to them. Uh, we do, communication is huge in the wedding industry. Absolutely, you cannot do it without it. Expectations are set during a, a, usually a pre-consult mm -hmm. and then you try and go, I try and go above and beyond that. So. There's the, there's the ordinary stuff. I take a first aid kit. I take a kit for the groom. I take a kit for the bride. Mm -hmm. I take, uh, you know, there's, that's kind of ordinary stuff. But like, for example, the, uh, yeah, when, yeah, when your kids are. You're good, I just added something this week. It made yeah. me think of it. All right. How's oh. That? Oh, tie pin. It's a, sti a stain remover. Yeah, the tie pins, thing. I put those in the kit for the bride. Cause okay. it, and they, oh, wow. Because I always use them, right? Yep. Wow. Um, and, the, and so I'm, I'm shooting a wedding tomorrow in Sun Valley, and unbeknownst to the bride and groom, um, <laughs> I'm actually going to go around with my my little M50 Mark II on my uh, gimbal. gimbal, and I'm going to make every one of their guests, it's a small wedding, very small, but I, and I don't know these people, so I'm going to go introduce myself, have them introduce them to me, where are you from, how'd you get here, how do you know John and Sue? Et cetera, et cetera. Oh, nice. And uh, I hope he's not watching because this is going to be a total surprise for him. Don't say anything <laughs> and, uh, if you yeah, are. And, uh, so, uh, and then at the end of the day, I'm just going to put that in my bag, and then they'll they'll get that mm. uh, as part of their package. And I, I, they don't have a clue I'm doing this. That's so awesome. That's, that's awesome. That's just a, that's just an above and beyond. What does it take for me? It takes a little time. So we're having a pre-function, or they're having a pre-function. <laughs> We, yeah. Uh, well, you're yeah. the you're You'll be there. Yeah, I'll yeah. be there. Uh, we're yeah. having a pre-function tonight, and that's when I'm actually going to do it. So that's awesome. I look for stuff that doesn't take any time out of my. Well, no, I take that back. It does take a little bit of time on some things, but not a major amount of time and not a major amount of work. Now, this I'm not a video guy. I'll stitch this thing together. That's about it. I'm not going to swap skies. Right. I'm not going to no. do any CGI. I'm not going to put the, a Tyrannosaurus Rex in the background. I'm That's not, not what it's about. Any, yeah. yeah. So this is just a little something for them. It probably... Uh, pair, it's something unexpected. It'll yes. pair down. It'll probably be less than five minutes, to awesome. be honest. That's great. That's terrific. So that's what I do. Awesome. That's terrific, yeah. man. And I look, I look for that in, in every single event that I do. Every single event's different, so you have to look for a different little gizmo. So one of our yep. favorite things, and we've been doing this for years, when we go do headshot events, we bring our touch-up kit, and it's got brushes and combs that if they use it, they keep it. Oh. And yeah. um, then I'm not worrying That's about That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Dollar store brushes, yeah. man. Come yeah. on. Combs are cheap. But I hear repeatedly, I'm like, wow, our last photographer didn't have anything like this. Oh, I'm like, okay, great. We have taken that a step <coughs> further. I've hired a gal. And um, she has a background in um, in, in um, preparing beauty pageant contestants to go on stage. Mm. That's her background. That's great. And her job is to literally touch the person before they on screen. I actually mentioned it last yeah. week. The gal said it was so nice to be detailed before I went oh, on yeah. in front of the camera. That's but nice. it, it's that extra thing. I don't. It's not. We talk about a touch-up kit, but. They don't know that there's going to be somebody there to make sure they look great right. before they go on camera. So and, and I like if that. you're a wedding photographer, or even if you're a portrait photographer, what I put in there, the bride's kits, and this might sound weird, are um, clothespins and safety pins mm. and a sewing kit. So I have those three things for sure are always in there. And then I also have tied pins and all kinds of stuff in there. And it's just, and basically it's just a little, I have a, I usually have a mug for me, for my photography 
company mm -hmm. in there for her. I love mugs. Um, I have a mug for the groom. They're two different, completely different mugs. So it's all kind of cool. Uh, you just, you know, you give them these, they don't expect it. Um, but the but the communications beforehand is everything to me. I don't want them to be surprised about what time I'm going to be there. I don't want them to be surprised about what I'm shooting. I don't want them to be surprised about, oh, you mean there's a fee for this? <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't, I, I don't want any of that. Yep. And I, I cover that probably at least four times wow. before yeah. I so shoot So let me ask you a question. Do either of you text with your clients? Oh, yeah. Text and call. Yeah, Text absolutely. and call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, we text and email and occasionally call. Most of my clients don't want to talk on the phone unless that's how they've initially reached out to me. Mm -hmm. I've got one client, he doesn't, I email him and he emails me, but anytime he's got a question, he just picks up the phone. I'm like, cool man, old school. Yeah. yeah. Like, Sometimes hey, I'll actually easier. talk to my client. Yeah. Um, nice. I had a great referral this week. Um, a corporation out of Roseville, California um, has a new uh, employee working here and um, they, they sent over, you can see it over there, they sent over a lighting diagram and specs and how they wanted it, and this, this came from another headshot photographer. She uses the Hurley method, which oh, is yeah. the triangles. triangles. Mm -hmm. That's what she does. Don't tell me you're gonna do that. No, gosh, no. Okay, I was gonna say, um, I wanna be no, here when you she, use that. <laughs> she, she got the lighting diagram and went, this is Bob's. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. oh wow. so, so she uses the Hurley method, and she's like, no, this is, this for is you. Bob's. Yeah, yeah. they sent a lighting awesome. diagram nice. over, because she's like, yeah, I don't do that. And and she knows what you do, that's right. really cool. Pretty yeah. cool, right? Yeah. So yeah. Um, the extra touch for these people, um, this is, uh, I was blown away by the gal that called me She's like, I'm going to send you this, click, click, click. Okay, I sent you the lighting diagram. But just so you know, we shot plates at an event last year that we're going to put these headshots onto. So I just need you to shoot it uh, on gray. I'm going to cut them out. She's doing all the Photoshop work. She goes, I don't need them retouched because we're going we're gonna to do that all as part of the, the moving into the background so the lighting matches and all that. And um, I'm like, she's talking plates. And like, she totally knows what, like, she totally knows what she's doing, right? Yeah. Um, so what I did, because I shoot tethered into Lightroom, I just made a, a public link to, light, to the Lightroom Ooh. and synced it while we were shooting. And she was literally watching the shoot as we were going along. And they picked wow. the image, the production, the execs over there picked the image they wanted. And that's what I sent. That's cool. That's cool. It was wow. super cool. She's like, hey, can you do, can you pull back a little bit so I have a little bit of wiggle oh, room wow. in Photoshop? Can you do this? Can you that's do that? That's awesome. So uh, I don't know if you've ever worked with a creative director or anything like that, yeah. but so that was the extra thing that I yeah. did for this client is, hey, let me just do this live for you and you can have your live input to it. I, I didn't know you could do that. I've had brides like that too that are creatives or even the grooms are creatives and they go, uh, you know, this is what I want. And you kind of, you know, you're like, no, it's not what I want. <laughs> but, but, but that's not you for to, you, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's not for you. The, and you know, this is all about green merits, right? So you do, you yeah. kind of do what you want. Yeah. And, and I will say that the, the, um, you know, their ideas are, are sound. Mm -hmm. You know, they're they're valid. You just got you kind of step out of your comfort zone, yeah. and go do what they want, and then you can real quick do what you want and then yep. kind of compare the two and, do and then, both. yeah so. and maybe you learn something you like better exactly yeah. there's a lot of times i've gone oh this is cool that's a good yeah, idea how come I not yeah. Doing this? right yeah. um so i'm going to come back to them for just a minute back to our viewers for a, a moment cool uh, i'm going to ask the question again how do you show value to your clients there's no wrong answer here if this is about money for you that's fine like for me, it's other things. Nobody, nobody, um, nobody has answered this question, and I know these people <laughs> that are watching us right mm -hmm. now, I know they've got good ideas they on this do. topic, and I want they this do. to be a two-way street. Well, they all have value. They all yeah. add value to their clients. Right? They do add value to their yeah. clients, and I, and I want to hear what, pardon me, what their ideas are in that regard. Yeah. Um, so for us, I've got, <laughs> I don't know if y'all are experiencing this. I've got some clients that can't get email from my email. I've got some clients that can't get email from my delivery service. I've got some clients that they get my emails, but I don't get their emails. Um, and this is kind of the newest thing that I'm tackling hmm. with my business is because all of the spam filters have gotten really strong oh. and, and a lot of corporations, because that's what I'm pouring into, a lot of the corporations, mm -hmm. their IT department's filtering things out. If it's coming from 
so I so yeah. I, I'm kind of a little bit of ahead of the curve on that game because that's what I do on the side. So I've asked them to I make sure on the console or the pre console or the meeting yeah. I say please whitelist. I don't want this thing lost in the spam filter. So like you say so please white whitelist Larry Fry Photography please white whitelist my my um, shoe proof yep. uh, site. I think there's three sites that I use that they can get into my stuff with. So I, I say, look, please whitelist this stuff so we don't have any miscommunications on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I literally came to that point this week where that needs to be part of my beginning discussions. Yeah. Like, hey, um, make sure you add me to your safe senders. And then on top of that, um, I'm going to start texting my client that I have emailed them. Mm, good idea. That's a good yeah. idea. Hey, just wanted you to know your your images. CYA, yeah. I just sent your image gallery over. Yep. Check yeah. your email. Yeah. And that gives them an opportunity to say, "Hey, didn't get it." Yeah. But it avoids the hey a week later. Hey, I never got my images. Right. Yeah. I'm like, well, I sent those a week yeah. ago. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I screen capture that and send it. Yeah. But that's that yeah. sounds excusey to me. Yes. And remember what I said. Well, it's yeah. kind of like a, it's kind of like a guilty until proven innocent, right? Right. Yeah. It is with that. Like, and hey, it doesn't I, sound I very kind. It yeah. doesn't sound very kind. So yeah. well, I'm just going to start texting them. Hey, your images are in your in your in your email. Yeah. Or um, yep. hey, I dropped an email with uh, a reply or whatever. Mm -hmm. We capture. So if they book through my booking system, we capture an email address, a phone, a, a cell phone number specifically, and um, a mailing address specifically. Yeah. Um, at the point of booking, which is terrific because then I have everything I need to communicate to them either by phone or text or email or by snail mail because yep. I love to send thank you cards. Me too. Right? Yep. Me Very too. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's see so if the, anybody's talking to so us the here. Text, text message thing, if you jump back to that for just Nobody's a second. Talking, um, talk to us. That worked really good with uh, <laughs> Val and I on this hospitality of the rooms because she's in Moran, Wyoming and busier in a cat on a hot tin roof right now and I've had a great uh, week. Uh, as far as being busy mm -hmm. so uh, you know I just said look I'll text you before I call mm -hmm. because I don't want to be calling you in the middle yeah, of that's lunch really good. or dinner or yeah. whatever yeah. and then she picked right up on that and uh, yesterday I told her anytime after 2.30 and sure enough she texted me and said I don't know, it was about 3.15 or so she mm -hmm. said now a good time I said absolutely that's so, yeah let's do it so yeah. it really it does yeah. open up that communication and then yeah. it just kind of brings you and the client a little closer together it does. you know so well you've yeah. had conversation right yeah. yeah and some emails some people's emails are five ten thousand full yeah, yeah. and then they get that text the text yeah. messages well, aren't that full so yeah. one of the things that that i've had to realize is that not everybody checks their email which drives me crazy Right? I can't do uh, that. So I, I try not to. Um, I'm seriously. No I've, red on my I've phone. I've pitched an organization <laughs> in our community that is on their summer break. Oh. I'm like, mm. talk to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they're not there. Like they're taking their time right now. Huh. Um, they're taking their time off. Yeah. There's um, there's a foundation, a charitable organization that supports this organization that I've pitched. So my pitch needs to go to the charitable organization as well and be talked to there and they're a board type organization so they're probably not meeting for another month yeah it's excruciating right my wife keeps asking me have you heard back from them i'm like i don't think we're going to for a little while yeah the job's in september mm. which to me isn't very far away no. but, but for them, them it's yeah. not a super right. important fast thing i think um, we have, they have plenty of time. i got a call yesterday I think this relates. I got a call yesterday from um, the owner of a business that I've worked with in the past. Um, they did massive layoffs during, I, okay, I should describe this better. It's a small company. They laid off all of their staff during the pandemic, which was probably four or five people. That's a pretty massive thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking massive yep. numbers. Yep. I'm talking they laid off. Small companies are very mm. familial. And mm -hmm. so they had to let their family go. They had oh, to let their people that's go. Sad. That work. sucks, right? Yeah, it is. Familial. Familial. Yeah. Um, but, but that's the yeah. way a lot of small businesses yeah. are. That's the way my small businesses have been, too. Mm -hmm. And um, so I got a call from him. They've hired some new people. We need to add to their group image. He's, they're waiting for embroidered shirts to come in for them. They're overdue by a few weeks. The supply chain for everything, everything. is whacked right now. Um, he goes, so that's not my call, but I just want you to know that's in the works. We'll be sending them over. Um, great. 
um, he's he's bidding a job. He's they're an event host company. They they own events in the Treasure Valley, and um, they're bidding to host a three day event for X Y Z client. And um, the client has said we want a photographer for these portions of the event. So he and I are talking and. Um, I valued that conversation so much because he could have emailed me, mm -hmm. he could have texted me, he picked up the phone and called me. Yeah, that's nice. And we got to talk and share the connection that comes with having a voice conversation. Mm -hmm. um, that's mm -hmm. man, that's caring for your client. It is. I took the time. He he ended with, "Hey, thanks for taking my call." Mm. How many times do you just let that call go to voicemail? Yeah, right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and I know that's part of the filter right now that we all have. Oh, I'm just, I don't recognize that and I'm going to let it go to voicemail. Because it's probably one. I two. answer my 208s. <laughs> yeah. yeah, some of them are bad calls. Mm -hmm. Some of them are your refrigerator's running or your warranty's expired or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I answer the 208 calls yeah. because a lot of them are somebody reaching out to me these days. Mm -hmm. And um, that's a way that I add value is by answering the damn phone. I, mean, I, wish I, I wish I could say I could I do that. I don't. I, I, if I don't, if there's a number on there I don't know, I'm like, I'm done. I have I, to answer it. I'm having much of my work right now is coming through with this connection. And part of that is, hey, um, I, I know you closed your studio downtown. Are you, are you still at it? Actually, this guy's question was, because um, I've done headshot work for him. We've done uh, groups by composite work for him. Because I know you, I know you're all about headshots and stuff. But do you do corporate events? I'm like totally. Mm. Yeah. Like we've done corporate events for years and years. I've done them on aircraft carriers. Oh really? Okay, I've done corporate That's events. Cool. I did a corporate event for the NRA oh. on an aircraft carrier, um, USS Hornet, I think, at mm. Alameda in California. That was awesome. I bet. It was super awesome. Um, so yeah, we totally do that. I don't talk a lot about it, but my corporate clients know that I do it. But he called to ask me that question. Mm. I answered the phone to him. That's value, mm -hmm. right? Thanks for taking my call. I yeah. do a corporate event right. over a wedding any day. Oh, I love <laughs> corporate events. Yeah. And so one of the ways that I show value to my client, and this also maybe speaks to how I demonstrate or illustrate for them that I know what I'm doing. I'll say, all right, so um, you say corporate events. So are we talking, you've got platform speakers, you've got breakouts, you've got some kind of uh, vendors or common area where you've got something going on, and you've got some kind of activities as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 exactly it. Um, it starts with uh, an a keynote. It starts with an evening, a kickoff party on Monday night, and then a keynote speaker. I'm like, do you have a closing keynote? Or oh, yeah, we have a closing keynote too. All right, great. So, do you want me to bid these very specific things, or do you want me to be there for the whole time? He goes, well, they've spec'd out specific things that they want captured. He goes, but I have a feeling that they're going to be like, well, we want this too, and we want this too, and we want this too. I says, all right, great. So I'm going to give you a bid to do just the things that they've talked about, and I'm going to give you my day rate to cover the whole thing, lock, stock, and barrel, extra photographer, and there's some features that go along with that, like daily, daily dumps of pictures so that they can use them in their presentations and things like that. He's like, yes, do that. So the last one I did, we had to have a, a live feed Mm -hmm. uh, so I had to basically shoot live, um, not tethered, well tethered via USB, so they could instantly put the winners of their stuff up on their Twitter, Instagram stuff. Um, but the last time I did a corporate event, which was at that one too, I, I made pals with the video crew. That's a good idea. Because it's, that's huge. Yes. Because they know what's going on yeah. before you know what's going on. Right. Before the event organizers know what's going on, basically. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Especially if it's a venue crew. Right. Like, this and, is the crew that the venue uses. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 So, mm -hmm. I, I found all the little, you know, I get, talked about all their little hidey holes where they can shoot from and what they do and all yeah. that stuff, which was insanely valuable, especially if you'd never been there. I mean, right. I, it, this happened to be in Stuckle Skybox. I've never been there. The who? Uh, the uh, BSU, BSU, that big oh, okay. room they have above the floor. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I haven't been there. It's, yeah. I, it is very nice, and they have an unparalleled view of downtown. It's, it's gorgeous. But yes. um, I didn't know that there was an, a, an upstairs to the uh, to the upstairs. We were in the top thing. Upstairs, upstairs to the upstairs? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so 
anyway, they showed me the upstairs to the upstairs, and I, I took off on that and uh, got some great camera angles, uh, et cetera. So anyway, there's cool. a lot of things you can do on that to uh, add some value. That's one of the ways I yeah. add value is because I had no idea what a what the layout of the room was, was or mm -hmm. how to do this stuff. And then they were telling me, you know, they, were, they actually gave me an earpiece so I could hear oh, what cool. they were doing. That's awesome. Yeah. So what That's you did cool. is you did legwork yeah. to provide additional value to your client. Correct. Good job, Larry. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so Jen Alvey, oh, our uh -huh. PPI president, yes. has asked you to introduce yourself oh. as a new board member and yada, yada, yada. Who are you? What do you do? She didn't ask Why are you here? for us to introduce ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> She's Larry. I'm Bob. Uh, yes, it's the, I am a new board member, and it's been fun so far. I'm Kim Minter. I'm not your mentor, and I'm not Mintner. <laughs> <laughs> Contrary to popular <laughs> yeah. belief. Anyway, um, maybe I'll like be winter. your mentor. Who knows? And um, so I do landscape photography and wildlife when I can get it. But um, and. and Astro. Oh, yeah, my Astro. I'm really getting into Astro right now. I love it. I go out every single month. Uh, once or twice I try unless the clouds come in and ruin my evening. Um, but I love Astro, and I have a dark room in my house, so I do a lot of black and white. I've been developing color, so I do a lot of printing in black and white. I don't print in color. It's not good for you, and I don't want to deal with those chemicals. But I will develop my color film. So you're using true wet process. I am. <laughs> yes, I took my... <laughs> I took so my... Are, are, you, are you doing medium format, like 120? Uh, I do 120 and 4x5. 4x5 Ooh. is my fave. So, yeah, 35, milli mil 35 millimeter, 120, 4x5. So. I love it. And I, cool. Black and white. Black and white, and I print up to 16 by 20. Sweet. Yep. And uh, I took my little room downstairs, and that was a store everything in. Took that all out. Got my own dark room door that twirls around. Oh, neat. Gosh, so I missed that. Gosh, it's I missed fun. that. I love it so much. And then I do a lot of stuff outside for developing. I do a lot of... Um, um, Ooh, alternative printing. So sanitized Van Dykes, um, lumens. Um, so I have a lot of that stuff I do too, which I'll have a show coming up this fall. So a lot of that will be in Tell my show. Tell us more about the show. Uh, so my sister and I are... I try to have a show once a year okay. uh, of Where my do you photography. Host that? Um, it's been downtown Boise, but this year I'm doing it at the Nampa Airport. We have a hangar, oh, and wow. so I'm going to have you know a food truck, Don't and we're going to have music. And, <laughs> and uh, we should rent a uh, hangar. <laughs> we should do this out of a hangar. Yes. that'd be rad. We, yeah. we should go to the War Museum and have this. Yeah. And we're right across from the War Museum. Well, I'll just go to your hangar. Yeah, I'll just go to my hangar, <laughs> and it's You're my husband's hangar? hangar. Yeah, my husband is, and my oh, yeah, father. Oh yeah, husband's a pilot. Yes, he is. That makes sense. Helicopter in there? No, he has two. They have airplanes in there. 185. We could still tail do tail draggers. We could, we could still yeah. do airplanes. We They're could, cool. Do, we could do our flight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just went down yes. the rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> but so my sister and I also do. She paints. She's an oil painter, okay. and so she paints my images. So we're going to have all that at our show this fall. So twin imagery is going to be there, plus all my stuff. So that's super Emily, cool. K Minter Photo. Yeah, I'm yeah. K Minter Photo and Twin Imagery. So, because I have a twin. So, she's, we're both artists. And uh, you want to do your Instagram and stuff on here? My Instagram is K Minter Photo and Twin Imagery. So, K. Minter. Just the letter K. Yep, the letter K. No dot. Minter. M I N T E R. No M I N T E R. Photo. P H O T O. P H O T O. <laughs> yes. So that's important because I know somebody that uses the. F O T O. Yeah. 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 Came into a uh, photo. We don't yeah. want to talk about that. We don't yeah. talk about that. Well, look, we're out of yeah. time. and yeah. um, But I'm really glad that we shared this conversation because the, I think that we. I'm going to speak from my perspective. I know that we have toiled over our pricing. And the reality is that uh, once you set the pricing, you're free to work on value mm -hmm. and how you can make that work well for your client. And um, that could mean a lot of things to a lot of people, but I'm really glad that we had this discussion. I got some great ideas from you. I got some mm -hmm. great ideas from you. And I hope that you got some great ideas from us. Um, and I was hoping we'd get good ideas to you. If you have some thoughts on this, uh, comment on this after the fact. You yeah. can comment on this all through the week, and we're going to find out. We're going to hear that. We're going to see that, right? They right. didn't know there was going to be a test at the start. Well, of this, it's so. not a test. I just really want to yeah. hear from some. I would yeah. love to hear uh, from Kim mm -hmm. what what he's done in the past to provide value for his clients. I'd like right. to hear from Jen. I know yeah, Jen. She's got something. I know she does. Mm -hmm. And I'd love to hear from Sam. I don't see Sam on today. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Gordon, I know. Sam that. goes to great lengths 
Yes. Yes. yes to provide does. value for his As clients. Fact, yep. I've got some gems out of Sam. Oh just, my gosh. Just by talking to Sam. Yep. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, so oh, I'm taking that. Yeah. I'm taking that. Right. <laughs> I don't tell anyone. Um, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to put this up. Let's see how it comes on there. Uh, Larry, you want to hit yeah, this for me? Yeah, There's a join us button, a big one, right on the front page. Hit that. $99 a year. You can't beat that. Or if you don't have the 100 bucks, uh, 9.99 a month. And That's by the awesome. way, to go to Jackson, you got to be a member. So yep. there you go. That's right. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So. Um, so. Will we give them, this is probably not a question to ask live, but will we give them a mechanism for signing up and registering in one fell swoop? Uh, you mean for the, for the, for the. For Sign the, up as a member and register oh, yeah, for yeah, the yeah, event. Yeah, 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 we will. Yes. Cool. Coming, incoming. Um, let's Maybe you'll hit, get a tight stick. No. Oh. <laughs> so let's hit this last thing. Well, two more things. Just that uh, we are your uh, state affiliate to PPA. <laughs> And so we are professional photographers of Idaho. We are your state affiliate uh, for that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna come into one more thing. If you're here watching us today, you've already figured out that we are here on YouTube for our weekly live stream every Friday at 11 o'clock. We have the next month planned. Yes. It's so good I will too. start to uh, build that framework out there so that you can get in there. Once you're logged into your account, you can click uh, get a reminder that we're going to be live and it will just notify you and uh, let you know that we're doing that. And, and you know, these are going to come out on the uh, web page also. Uh, so all that stuff will be events, which will be non, uh, you can register for the event, but it won't cost you anything. And you can click on the, on the um, reminder button at, on the events page also. So you'll get an email from our automated email thing that goes out about the yeah. events. So mm -hmm. all right, all guys, excited about all this stuff. Yes. Yeah. Do you That's have anything cool. else? Oh. Uh, no. Let me uh, let me do the beep boop bop thing real quick, and put something else up here. I'm going to pull this in, and uh, folks, thanks for watching. This has been the value proposition uh, with our guest here. I'm going to come back. I think I'm going to come back. Right, come back with our guest, Kim Minter. You're not really a guest. You're part of the. Yeah. You're here. I yeah. am here yeah. Yeah. to stay. You're going to be here next week too. Yes. Because yeah. you've got some nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> to kick in down there. And uh, we'll be live next Friday. I can't remember my topic, but it's a good one. Is it uh, Kill Shot next week? Kill Shot. Kill Shot. It's Kill Shot and, next week. And don't forget, uh, on some of these Fridays that are coming up, we're probably going to be coming to you from a remote location. Ooh. So we talked because, about that. Yeah. because we've got a road show planned. Yeah. Oh, fun. So Very exciting. Stay tuned on that one. All right, guys. See you Bye. next week. Thanks Bye. for joining. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. <laughs>